Joshua, and welcome to my uh, stream. This is another edition of starting an entirely new game. Um, well, not new to me, but it might be new to you. So, I don't know. I thought I'd talk a little bit about um, Homeworld and its place in at least my gaming um, experience, and then walk through the tutorial and maybe some initial missions. Um, this came around, I think it was probably after Command and Conquer, which was a sort of top-down, um, ground-based, um, real-time strategy game and resource gathering and management game. This has the same basic genre and mechanic, but it's in a 3D space uh, area. It's not an open world. Um, the missions get carried out in a fairly large arena um, that is 3D, so you have vertical um, movement. It's not like free spinning. Like it's it's sort of like the Star Trek Federation in that um, all almost all the ships arrange themselves. Um, to some sort of up down scheme that's common to everybody <laughs> so you rarely have like uh ships that are misaligned compared to each other but aside from that um which is a real minor quibble um homeworld was always beautiful it was always a wonderful experience a beautiful game sometimes frustrating because some of the missions are very difficult, um, especially uh, as resources get more and more uh, rare, and you have to, you know, recycle ships to make other ships and and so on. So it's um, anyway, beautiful. Homeworld one had this sort of amazing twist ending, which I will not talk about unless we actually get there. Um, there was Homeworld 2, Homeworld Catalyst, I believe, um, uh, maybe five, ten years after that, they published, uh, Homeworld's, uh, Homeworld Deserts of Karak, I believe, or Kazakh, I don't I have to look it up, um, which is a ground-based strategy and rts game also gorgeous um graphically speaking and uh i don't know i think they some of them got mixed reviews but they were all very um faithful to the s series the canon um and there's a new edition that's going to be released this year i believe which i'm looking forward to um, but for now, it would be kind of a pleasure to revisit the first game and maybe the games after that and see if I'm any good at them anymore if I, or if I have to learn again how to play them. Um, so anyway, let's, let's get started and you can see. Uh, I wanted to, let me make sure of my options here, so... I don't want to change the resolution because it's, it's I do want to make sure that we have high graphics settings because this computer should definitely be able to handle it. Blur. I don't think I well, yeah, what the heck? Bloom, yes. Depth of field, yes. UI so, Um The battle chatter is fun. We'll keep it at standard. Uh it's all very atmospheric and kind of lovely from an aesthetic standpoint. 
And I kind of like the UI too. It kind of reminds me again of the, the sort of Star Trek um, L cars UI. I don't know. I, I, I don't know all of these <laughs> controls, but I'll learn them um, or relearn them. Um, timer. No, I think I'll leave it as is. Alright, fly. And then tutorial. So the remastered version was republished well after they were done. Welcome to the Homeworld Training Mission. This tutorial will cover the user interface, camera control, unit selection, and movement. Our first priority is the taskbar. The taskbar provides you with a variety of information about what you currently have selected and provides you easy access to basic commands. Click OK to continue. You can minimize the taskbar by clicking on the flashing icon or pressing backspace. Do this now. Flashing icon. Okay. All right. To bring the taskbar back, keep pressing backspace. Do this now. Good job. Okay. The recall window displays all previous okay. speech in the mission. Click on the recall icon to display all previous speech in the mission. To exit the recall window, click close. Throughout the game, objectives will be assigned to you. Objectives give you information on what you must accomplish in each mission. Click OK to continue. Okay. You have just been issued a new objective. To access the objective... Good job! This is the objectives screen. Click the Learn How to Play Homeworld objective to get more information on it. To exit the objective screen, click on the Close button. To issue orders, you must first select the ships you want to command. Click OK. Ooh. Left click on the scouts Ooh. to select them. I'm going to zoom out so I can see them a little bit better. Copy. Scouts selected. New reinforcements available. A second scout squadron is launching. To select multiple squadrons, first hold down the left mouse button and then drag a box around both scout squadrons. This is Do basic this now. game work. This excellent season. work. Click OK Impulsive to continue. Notice that the taskbar has been updated with your selection. The taskbar lists all currently selected ships. Ships can be selected by left-clicking, drag-selecting, and by clicking on the ship icon in the taskbar. In order to master space combat, you must first learn how to control the camera. At this point, the camera is focused on a squadron of scouts. Click OK to continue. Hold down the right mouse button and move the mouse to rotate the camera. Do this now. Rotate. Excellent work. Click OK to continue. Continue practicing camera rotation. When you are ready to move on, click okay. OK. To zoom the camera, scroll the mouse wheel or hold down both mouse buttons while moving the mouse forwards and backwards. Practice camera zooming. I feel like Good work. this may have been before mouse wheel. When you are ready to continue, common. click or OK. At least the original game was. To pan the camera, Move the mouse cursor to the edge of the screen. Do this now. Excellent work. Click OK to continue. The arrow keys on the keyboard also pan the camera. Now, pan the camera until the scouts are no longer in view. Okay, Good work. I pressed D by accident. Click OK to continue. Or keep practicing camera panning. <laughs> Tutorial, let me do another command. I have nothing to do with it. To focus the camera on a ship, Press the middle mouse button or use the focus key. This snaps the camera to the currently selected ship, in this case, the scouts. Excellent work. Oh, yeah. To focus on an unselected ship, hold down the Alt key and left click on the object. Try this now. Alt and left click. The next topic is the Sensors Manager. To activate the Sensors Manager, press Spacebar or click on the Sensors icon on the taskbar. The Sensors Manager allows you to see the game world from a much greater distance 
and is used for strategic movement and command of ships. The two green dots represent the two scout squadrons. From the sensors manager, you can see distant objects such as these asteroids. The sensors manager also displays objective information. Click OK to continue. Camera control and ship selection work as normal in the sensors manager. All ships have a tactical overlay, or TO for short. TOs help identify friendly and enemy targets. Friendly ships will have green TOs. Enemy targets will have red TOs. Allies have yellow TOs. Click Tab cycles through all various TO settings. Some settings display more information than others. Experiment using the camera in the sensors manager now. To return to the normal view, press spacebar. Standing by. Yeah, yeah. Uh, up here. All right, and so that's reporting. The carrier acknowledged. Roger. We will now cover ship movement. To effectively command your fleet, you must learn how to navigate 3D space. Click first select a scout squadron. Remember, now, right-click on this group of asteroids to issue a right-click move command. Moving well to destination. Right-click movement orders a ship to move to a specified landmark. For example, another ship, an asteroid, or a piece of debris. Remember, you can rotate and zoom the camera while issuing a move command. Click the scouts have reached their destination. Ships can also be moved to any point in space. Click to use the movement disk. Right-click on empty space or press the movement hotkey, M. Do this now. Um. Good work. The movement disk represents the current plane the selected unit is on. Right-click on a desired location to issue a move order. Strike the ship will now move in. to its target destination. The next lesson will cover vertical movement. While right-click movement covers most situations, vertical movement is needed to gain tactical advantage. Bring up the sensors manager. Notice the ping on the map is above the world plane. The world plane is the horizontal disk at the center of the map. Click OK to continue. Now, bring up the movement disk by right-clicking on empty space or pressing the movement hotkey. To raise or lower the destination point, hold down the left mouse button and move the mouse up or down. Order one of your ships. Good. Strike this concludes this locked tutorial. In. Practice using the camera, selecting ships, and issuing move orders. When you're ready to move on, click OK to proceed to the next tutorial. Clicking OK. This tutorial will cover resourcing, shipbuilding, and combat. To build ships and research new technology, you will need to harvest resources. Resources can be gathered from asteroids and salvage containers. Click no OK to continue. To harvest, select the resource collector and right-click on the indicated asteroid. Do this now. Resources Excellent. locked in. Additionally, pressing the harvest hotkey, H, will order selected resource collectors to harvest nearby resources. Click o Production ships, like this carrier, can build ships. Click the Build button, B, to open the Build Manager. The currently displayed menu shows the available fighter class ships that can be built. Click OK to continue. Click on the Scout icon to begin construction of a Scout Squadron. Notice how the progress bar increases, indicating the status of the current build task. Click on the research button or the research hotkey, R, to activate the research manager. This is the research manager. Notice that enhanced scout sensor technology is available for research. This improves scout sensors. Click OK to continue. Where is my cash readout? Click on enhanced scout sensors to research enhanced scout sensors. Oh, all right, it's right at the top of the center. 
each research item will unlock new build or research options to enhance your ships. deciding what to research or upgrade is critical for victory. click ok to continue how am i supposed to click ok if it's not on the screen? i'm assuming that the technology needs to be researched and explored Awesome. Scout yep. sensor research complete. Stand by to begin combat lessons. A squadron of bombers has been constructed and an unarmed torpedo frigate has been provided. Click OK to continue. Okay. To attack a target, select the bomber squadron and right click on the torpedo frigate. Order the bombers to attack the torpedo frigate now. Okay. Standing by. Great. Strike group, prepare for assault. Let's zoom in. Enemy destroyed. To attack okay. multiple enemies, hold Bring down control close. and use the left mouse button to drag select a group of targets. Attack the three frigates now. Now I have to use myself. They said control. <laughs> Strike group to battle positions. Yeah, see, we can get a little closer now. At least this one, you can actually see. The bombers are scraping, sort of. I seem to remember one of the Homeworld games allowed it, and I would be We still, it's not a space fighting simulator game. You can control the computer. Congratulations. You now understand all the basics required to play Homeworld. Okay. This tutorial covers control groups, special actions, oh, and advanced like commands. Control groups allow you to select a group of ships and assign them to one of the ten number keys. First, select the three squadrons of interceptors. Now press the control key and the number one at the same time to assign the interceptors to you have now assigned that group to the number one. From now on, pressing the number one key or clicking on the one icon on the taskbar will select group one. Click OK to continue. Pressing the number one twice will also focus the camera on the interceptors. Up to ten groups can be assigned, each corresponding to one of the number keys. Now assign the newly arrived bombers to group two. Alright, so I gotta rotate the view a little bit in order to do the reporting. Group Excellent. Two. Now, order Group 2 to attack the enemy frigate that is just hyperspaced in. Where? This one? Yes. Okay. So. Group two. 2 copies. Right. Strike Group, prepare for assault. Two reports for you. Well done. The next lesson covers special actions. Special actions vary from ship to ship. The carrier that has just arrived has a cloaking generator. To use special actions, first select the carrier. This tab displays all special actions. Currently, only the cloak ability icon is active. Press the cloak icon to activate the carrier's cloaking cloak sail generator. Active. Special actions are also activated via the shift menu. To access the shift menu, hold down shift and right click on a ship or empty space. Using either the special actions commands icons on the taskbar or the shift menu, order the carrier to decloak. Confirmed. Cloak field disengaged. Unlike cloak, some special actions require a target. This marine frigate is one such example. Marine frigates are used to capture enemy ships. To capture an enemy ship, select the marine frigate and right-click on the enemy frigate. 
you can also use the capture icon or the shift menu understood capture target acquired stand by for insertion right. <laughs> marines going in Boarding. Encountering light resistance. Let's finish this. Tactics will be covered next. Idle ships will default to their tactics setting. Tactics govern how ships react to the enemy targets. Units set on aggressive will retaliate against all enemy targets. Ships on defensive will defend friendly ships but will not pursue enemy targets. This is the default tactic. Passive tactics order units to stand down. They will not engage the enemy under any circumstances. Tactics will also change the formations ships use. Click to change tactics for selected ships. Click on the desired tactic on the taskbar. You can also use the tactics hotkeys. Strike groups are tactical formations of ships designed to support each other in battle. Click OK to continue. Drag select all of these ships. Ready. Now, select a strike group formation from the strike group rollout on the taskbar. Trying to learn. No. Did I miss it? Or is it just any formation? New formation acknowledged. 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 I'm not sure if I understand. Group one reporting. New formation acknowledged. Group two. New formation acknowledged. Show 
no mercy. New formation acknowledged. For some, for some reason, I can't. Behavior to continue, uh, which is frustrating. But you know what? I think I'm just gonna move on. I can. Next tutorial. Try next tutorial. Oh, I think we're done with tutorials. Okay, fine. Uh, single player game. One hundred years ago, a satellite detected an object under the sands of the great desert. An expedition was sent. ancient starship buried in the sand. Deep inside the ruin, was a single stone that would change the course of our history forever. On the stone was etched a galactic map and a single word more ancient than the clans themselves. Higara, our home. Plans were united and a massive colony ship was designed. Construction would take 60 years. It would demand new technologies, new industries, and new sacrifices. The greatest of these was made by the scientist Karen Sajet, who had herself permanently integrated into the colony ship as its living core. She is now Fleet Command. The promise of the Guide Stone united the entire population. Every mind became focused on the true origin of our people every effort on the construction of the ship that would seek it out among the stars. Scaffold control standing by. All stations green. You're cleared to approach. You got it. Base 8, 9, and 10 sealed. Scaffold decks A, B, C secure. Decks D and E secure. Scaffold secure. All systems green. Release crew standing by. What a beautiful sight. This is Fleet Command. Reporting Mothership Relaunch Status. Command Online. Resourcing Online. Construction Online. Cryogenic Subsections A through J Online. K through S Online. 
Scaffold control, stand by for alignment. Alignment confirmed. Stand by, release control. All caliper banks released. The mothership has cleared the scaffold. We are away. Stand by for command line testing. Command line green. Initial fleet in position. Destination canceled. Fleet intelligence going online. Our task is to analyze all sensor data and generate mission objectives. Before the hyperdrive tests, several trials must be completed. Test construction by building the primary research ship. Test resource processing by harvesting the asteroids provided nearby. Hyperspace module charging. 35% capacity and rising. The mothership will be ready for the hyperdrive test in 10 minutes. Stand down. We're on hold. Stand by to begin combat trials. First, we will be monitoring formation performance. Target drones have been provided here. Assign a formation to your fighters and destroy the drones. Group one. Strike group acknowledged. Strike group coordinates locked in. All right, and then I'm going to you and Lucas with Alex. So now you can see I'm following, I think, the whole formation of fighters. Oh, I need to actually order them to attack. Group one reporting. Strike group to battle positions. There we go. So we can now zoom into the whole formation. Formation trial complete. Flight analysis shows a 22% increase in combat performance. The next trial will test the effectiveness of tactics. Stand by to begin tactics trial. Use aggressive or evasive tactics and engage the target drones here. Strike report is locked in. Aggressive. Strike group, prepare for assault. the 
tactics trial complete the next trial will test the performance of the salvage corvette build one and capture the target drone here so i'm gonna send this Guard order confirmed. Then I'm going to drop out. <laughs> Roger. Select the salvager corvettes. I'm going to assign them. Group to 10 designated. We go back to the tactical view. I'm going to see, yeah, and make sure that the target is actually on the plane. En route. The tactical view. Then I'm going to drop out of the tactical view and follow. I do have twice to zoom in the salvager corvettes. Or recess resource collectors. Am I using the right term here? I can do a call here. I have to build one, so I just <laughs> they're wrong. Alright. Uh we'll move these guys back here. Destination locked in. I have to actually build a There we go. Here's Construction underway. Yeah, I didn't spend enough resources on the research or just yet. Yeah, I'm trying to pull, zoom in, and we might be able to see. I'm still tempted from all the other games I play to use the WASD movement keys, but Salvage Corvette those complete. are actually shortcuts to commands that I don't necessarily want to run. Alright, so I'll make the Salvage Corvette Roger. Group 9. Group 9 designated. Now we will move Group 9 here. Moving to destination. Drop out, follow, follow. Now we can see the following camera. All right, and then we are going to capture. Acknowledged. We're going to capture this one so with the right click instead of the left. Nine. We can see that this guy's actually taken the target in and in one. Oh, that's right. We are mission objects. We'll wait for this one now. something you know I think that you the tutorial or catching up all right I'm gonna jump ahead and harps customers group 10 these guys collection confirmed
the other thing is, you can actually move a mothership around. I'm not sure if you can do it yet, but mothership. As we progress in the game, we should be able to actually move the mothership. afford the research ship just yet. I need to get a hundred more resources, which the South uh, the Harvester Corvette sh should be handling soon. They do have a pretty big reservoir, so local resources exhausted fleet. Moving on. We'll see if that means they're returning their resources or are they I think they may be harvesting. Roger. Alright, so this one on the left is heading towards the mothership. This one on the right. Confirmed. Oh. Gathering resources. So we can actually watch the copy as it docks, and it's going to go to the back of the mothership. Sometimes you actually need to know where the ships are going just to have an idea of where, how to orient the big ships that you're moving around. It's not a huge deal, but it's kind of nice to know. And you can watch the pretty graphic. I'm not sure all of which. So that one's empty and it's going back out. And this Roger. one is full. And you can see the yellow bar under the green bar that tells you Ready. if the uh, collection reservoir. Thank you. See you next time. So now I have 1,500 resource units. Berths are clear. Mothership. And you can't see a build status until you're actually in the build. Port A of the research direction out of. New research available. Stand by research for a hyperdrive complete. test. Internal pressure doors will be sealed in two minutes. Abort system standing by. Hyperspace module fully charged. I am ready to initiate quantum wave generation on your mark. Good luck, everyone. All sections have reported in. We are clear to proceed. Trigger the hyperspace drive at your discretion. So when you hyperspace, it already goes back into the ship to dock. So the other thing that I could potentially do is do all the research that I can and all the resource gathering that I can before I hyperspace. <clears throat> it shouldn't matter in the early missions when you're relatively safe, but uh, in the later missions, uh, that relative sense of safety goes away. I just want to get as many resources as I can for myself. And I think I do want to research this.
resource collector awaiting instructions. Research complete. We can build at a later date, but I just wanted to sort of get that. All right, let's have to stand down. We're on hold. So I can click dock, or I can watch the ballet with the old movie. Some of the ships, like I think the research, or maybe the research ship will talk, but sometimes with the capital ships, they have their own vector space ability, so they don't actually dock. They um, vector space along the The given that the countdown is two and All hyperspace systems operating at full power. If the hyperspace targeting system is accurate, we will emerge in close proximity to the support vessel Car Salim. This ship has spent the past 10 years traveling on conventional drives to reach the outer Karak system. The Car Salim will monitor the quantum waveform as we return to normal space and assist in tuning our drive control systems. If the hyperspace module malfunctions, the Car Salim will provide assistance and resupply. Mission objectives will be to dock with the support vessel in order to complete adjustments to the mothership and her drives. Pretty. New research available. We made it. Hyperspace jump complete. All systems nominal, and the quantum wave effect has dissipated. We have misjumped. The support ship is not here. Fleet Command will signal the Car Salim while we confirm our current position. This is the mothership calling support vessel Car Salim. Come in, please. We have misjumped and are requesting your beacon. This is the mothership calling support vessel Car Salim. Please respond. Priority alert, we have picked up the Car Slim's automated beacon. Send a probe to make contact and re-establish communications. All right, so I'm gonna send an actual probe. Not. Roger. Scouts. Which I'm gonna send to guard. Guard order I confirmed. Also new research available. I think it's just the Corvette Prime. Anyway, let's go back for a little bit. Assembly underway. So I currently have the resource collectors harvesting the um, <coughs> asteroids. Probe complete. There's the probe. On the plane, that's good. That's good. Probe dispatched. Local resources exhausted. Fleet moving on. Um, and then it's the last. So three clicks on the F. Well, I
so that looks bad. Oh, and that... That looks even worse. is under attack. Engage incoming units. The mothership must be defended. Berths are clear. Construction underway. Construction underway. Alright, so I'm building Set five squadrons of fighters. Scouts are defending. I got one. Interceptor units. complete. Supporting friendly units. We're under fire. Interceptor complete. Under fire. Interceptor complete. All right, let's heat it up in here. Mothership. Interceptor complete. Mothership. Stay sharp. Units destroyed. Threat eliminated. Mothership sustained minor hull damage. Repairs are underway. Copy. The car Salim has been destroyed. Heavy weapon damage is visible on the remaining fragment. A salvage corvette must be sent to retrieve the mission data recorder. Standing by. Underway. Confirmed. Escort pattern locked in. Confirmed. Roger. Ready. Reporting. Escorting friendlies. All right, so I had a couple of interceptors guarding the salvage corvette. It's going out to the results wreckage. Um, I have 1,500 resource units. I don't, I don't know what's coming, so I think I'm going to try to play it conservatively and not build uh, additional ships until I really think I need them. I am, however, going to 
research the Corvette Drive. And then let's confirm this please. Group nine copies. Actually order the salvage machine. So much there's Priority alert. Additional hostile units detected on an intercept course with the car Salim. Protection of the salvage team is a primary objective. It must return to the mothership with the mission recorder. We need that data. Moving into formation. All right, so I'm getting all the scouts to guard the salvage corvette as well. And I'm actually going to also get this. Standing by. Group 1 reports enemy contact. Escorting friendlies. Watch your six. Group 1 under attack. Light fire confirmed. Group 1 reports enemy contact. Watch your six. Direct harasser of the salvage permit is killed. Ever. Group one copies. Safely, downloading mission data recorded. Replaying last entry. What do you mean you detect a hyperspace entry? Warning reporting. The mothership isn't due, but Sir, pattern had locked in. Contacts on closing vectors. Unknown profile. Reported. No recognition codes. Uh, they're not ours. Copy. Well, if they're not on, who the hell are they? Group two designated. Sir, they're coming in fast. Check escorting friendly. Incoming fire. We are under attack. Local resources exhausted. Moving on. They're getting through. Breaches across all decks. Hull integrity failing. Ready. Confident to mothership. If you are receiving a full hyperdrive test, repeat. Group full hyperdrive test. Guard order confirmed. Just tidying up the squad assignments here. We are detecting enemy units advancing on our position. Organize a defensive force to protect the mothership. Docking signal green. Roger. Escort pattern locked in. Assembly underway. Construction underway. Interceptor complete. Supporting friendly units. Interceptor complete. Interceptor complete. Interceptor complete. Interceptor complete. Supporting friendly units. Interceptor complete. Group 
one under attack. Watch for debris. Group one reports enemy contact. All stations report large power signature detected nearby. Recommend immediate investigation. We have determined that these enemy units are inferior to ours. Protect against penetration of the Karak system. Destroy the attacking force completely. Group two reports victory. Birds are clear. Group two reporting. I caught one. Confirmed. Supporting friendly units. Group two assigned. Probe complete. Strike group acknowledged. It's an enemy carrier. They appear to be reinforcing their squadrons of fighters and corvettes with it. Okay. Standing by. Supporting friendly units. Group three designated. Berths are clear. Assembly underway. Berths are clear. Interceptor complete. Interceptor complete. Group three. Interceptor complete. Supporting friendly units. Repair Corvette complete. Interceptor complete. Destination locked in. Interceptor complete. Group three reporting. Moving to intercept. We're under fire. Group two. Repair Corvette complete. Right. Strike group. Prepare for assault. Group one. Lock all weapons on target. Same. Friendly under fire. Moving in. Group two copies. Confirmed. Group two reinforced. Strike group prepare for assault. Group one reporting. Attack vector laid in. Group three, strike group under enemy attack. Target confirmed. Status report. Friendlies under fire, moving in. Light fire confirmed. Reporting. Confirmed. Group 8 designated. Moving into formation. Group 8 reports enemy contact. As I thought. That's actually drawing all the enemies towards that base. And then it serves that. Now, I don't think there's any more resources here, so I've got to be angry. Group 8 reporting. Stand down. We're on hold. Defensive perimeter set. Group 8 under attack. We're under fire. Group 2 copies. Strike group reports hostile contact. Group eight. Group two copies. Group one standing by. Enemy units are retreating. Objectives complete.
Stand by for immediate return to Karak. Even though they're retreating, it's still square one. It's still barrier. Why is? I guess the question is: Is it going to hyperspace away? So Group everybody. one reports victory. Copy. Doc order Lock. confirmed. I guess some of them are in it. Some are docking with the Corvettes, which is not precisely what I wanted. Let's Group see. one. What? Docking with mothership. Two. Group two standing by. Doc order confirmed. No, I don't need it. Freaking. Coming into dock. Mothership. Oh, no. Group two reporting. Dock order confirmed. Docking with mothership. Thank you. Group three copies. Docking with mothership. Ready. Docking with mothership. Docking with mothership. Copy. But I'm managing the docking myself, which is silly, but I guess that's. The other thing is that things are docking to get prepared and coming back out again, which wasn't really my goal. With respect to having everything repaired, although what that means is that actually repair order confirmed. Given all that, I feel like, you know, we'll wait until this guy is fully repaired, which is right about now. And then we will Stand down, we're on hold. And I'm gonna do a quick Analysis of wreckage reveals the hostile units are using strike craft ranging from fighters to combat corvettes. All pilots will be briefed in case hostiles have penetrated farther into the Karak system. On our return to Karak, the final outfit of the mothership must be accelerated in order to defend against possible future attacks. Many major mothership systems are still incomplete. We will notify Karak's missile defense system of this possible threat. The mothership will then dock with the scaffold for repairs. Stand by for hyperspace exit to Karak. Okay, so the Raiders have already come. Which is non. No one's left. Everything's gone. Karak is burning. Karak is being consumed by a firestorm. The scaffold has been destroyed. All orbital facilities destroyed. Significant debris ring and low Karak orbit. Receiving no communication from anywhere in the system. Not even beacons. Wait. On the maintenance frequency, I'm getting a signal from the cryo-tray systems in orbit. 
One of them is suffering a massive malfunction. The cryo trays are under attack. Defend them. These ships are different from those we encountered at the Car Slim. It is likely they were involved in the destruction of Karak. Capture at least one vessel for interrogation and destroy the rest. Copy. Group 2 standing by. Resource collector awaiting instructions. Escorting friendly. Group 8 reporting. Group 9. Ready. Roger. Sources for our resource regions. Roger. Group three copies. I feel like group three is not taking over. Group three standing by, moving to intercept. Ready. Standing by. Group three reporting. Group eight. Repairs initiated. Alright, so I'm going to stop because I'm getting stint, but what it's looking like is this single thread is not enough to cover the assault and salvage program. So I need two salvage programs, and so what I should do is use two eight destroy and build another salvage program so that I can truly We'll do that the next time I play. So now, thank you for joining me. And I think it'll be fun in 15 minutes. Because this one shows my love for this game. Uh, um, I hope you found it fascinating too. And I hope you'll give me any future adventures. Feel free to follow me on Twitch. To uh, like this video, subscribe, and subscribe on YouTube if you want to follow me there. Um, and I hope that you would consider joining me during the live stream session. Not necessarily, but it would be nice to have fun with me. Thanks very much, and I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you on Friday. Take care.